Let's find the equation of a tangent plane to the surface 5x squared plus 3y squared plus 8z squared equals 353 3 at the point 356. Reminding you that the gradient vector which will be used right now is orthogonal or perpendicular to the level curves. And that gives us the idea that we can use gradient instead of the normal vector to build the equation of a tangent plane. So we're taking derivatives now and each partial derivative will be attached to the corresponding variable with a shift for a point so derivative with respect to x is multiplied by x minus x sub 0 derivative with respect to y and so on and so on so let's do that this is actually a pretty short problem you will see it in a second the gradient gradient of the function is derivative with respect to x and i'm looking over here derivative with respect to x gives me 10x derivative with respect to y gives me 6y derivative with respect to z is 16z right now step two let's plug the point that gi will give us slope slope uh, so we used to have one derivative with one slope. Now it's three different derivatives, but we're plugging the point. Gradient at the given point, 3, 6, 5. This is the point we're looking at. Will be uh, 3 is x, so 30. y is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. z is 5. 5 times 6, t is 80. That is my gradient vector at the given point. So it looks like that. The point is given 3, 6, 5, and the vector, like so. Now, we can use the equation in the rainbow box to already build everything we need to build. This is exactly going to be the equation of a tangent plane. First derivative at the point gave me 30, x minus 3, that's a shift, Second derivative at the point gave me 36 times y minus 6. And the third one is 80 z minus 5 equals to 0. Simplify, which means let's distribute everything. It will be 30x minus 90. Well, actually, I would divide by 2 right away. Not to deal with big numbers, that's just a smart move. 15x minus 3 plus 18y minus 6 plus 40z minus 5. So if you're lucky, you can simplify first. Now let's distribute. 15x minus 30, uh, 45 minus 45 plus 18y minus 108 plus 40z minus 200 equals to 0. Finally, the final form will look like this. 15x plus 18y plus 40z equals to 45 plus 108 plus 200 is 353. And this is the final answer. I think it's fun if uh, at the very end I start uh, saying the answer in Russian. Some students told me that they think it's educational. So it's going to be 15x plus 18y plus 40zz equals, equals is равно 353. Z, we actually don't say z, we say z. x, x, o. Oh. We say x, y, z, z, x, y, z. Yeah, you see, I forgot. x, y, z. So that was a very nice short problem. Please practice more and make sure you can be fast at this. Because as you can see, it's more writing than actually thinking. See you next time.